Ambev is down by an incredible 73% from its peak. So is it a great opportunity or is there a fundamental problem with the business? Let's find out. But first, what exactly is Ambev? Well, it is a Brazilian brewing company. It operates in 18 countries in the Americas and its products include beers such as Brahma, Corona, Stella Artois, Skoll or Budweiser. Wait a minute. Budweiser, Corona, Stella Artois, are, are those really Brazilian beers? Well, it's a bit more complicated. Let me explain. In 2004, Ambev merged with Belgian company Interbrew to form InBev. In 2008, InBev acquired the American company Anheuser-Busch to form Anheuser-Busch InBev. So, Ambev is currently a subsidiary of Anheuser-Busch InBev, which owns 61.8% of its shares. So, beer, growing markets, famous brands, prices down, that sounds promising, but let's see how well it did in the past. If you were to invest $1,000 into Ambev 10 years ago, you could buy around 130 shares, and today they would be worth around $372. But luckily you would also get dividends. Through the 10 years you would receive $196 as dividends. So if we add that together we get a final result of $568. In other words you would lose 43.2% of your money. But let's be fair, one of the reasons we are looking at this company is the fact that the price just crashed. So that result should not be a surprise. And luckily for Ambev, the future does not have to look anything like the past. So let's start our analysis. Individual insiders, that is an X, the management does not own any shares of this company and we would like them to do so because then they would have some skin in the game. And since they don't own any shares, they are of course not buying. But maybe super investors own this company. That is a check, but only one super investor owns this company and it is First Eagle Investment Management. And are they buying right now? That is a check. In the last quarter, they bought around 565,000 shares. So they added 0.18% to their position. Return on invested capital, that is a check at 17.6% 10 year median returns. And we want to see this number higher than 10%. So that is a very nice result. And free cash flow growth, that is an X at minus 6.8% 10 year compound annual growth rate. So their free cash flow is going down in the long term. That is a very big red flag. And what do we know about net profit margin? It is a check at 17.2% and the industry average is 15.2%. So that is a decent margin. And now let's take a look at share buyback. It is an X with 23.6% extra shares issued in the last 10 years. That is very discouraging because what it means is that long-term investors are getting diluted. Over the years they own the same amount of shares, but these shares represent a smaller portion of the company. And let's take a look at the debt. It is a check and a very big one as well. They have almost no debt. So that is very good news. The dividend yield is 5.6%. So in the last 12 months, shareholders got 14 cents per every share through dividends. That is a very nice yield. But let's see, is it sustainable? The payout ratio is an X at 87.3% and we want to see it somewhere between 20 and 
Such a high payout ratio is not unsustainable, but we have to be prepared for the dividends to go down a bit. It does not have to be that way, but it is a serious possibility. So what do we know about the dividend growth? It is a check at 5.5% five-year growth rate, but that does not tell us the full story. The dividend was going down since 2014 all the way to 2020, and now it is going back up. So it is going to be very interesting to watch this dividend in the future. Will it continue to go up or is the payout ratio too high and we will see another decline? Price to earnings ratio is 14.1, so not that high, that is encouraging. But to properly value Ambev, we will have to estimate its growth for the next 10 years. And we will make three scenarios, low, medium and a high one. So in the low scenario, we will estimate a growth of 2% for the first five years and then a decline of 1%. In the medium, 4% growth and then 2% growth. And in the high scenario, 6% for the first five years and then 3% growth. Now, why did I use such estimates? They seem to be all over the place. Well, the beer market is expected to grow more than 6% a year till 2027. So that is basically our high scenario. Medium one is predicting that Ambev is going to do a little bit worse than the market. And low scenario is closer to the results in the last 10 years. In that time, the revenue went down by 0.3%, free cash flow went down by 6.8% and earnings per share by 5.6%. I think that explains the drop in price in the recent years. So with such estimates, the intrinsic value in the low scenario is $2.18, in the medium scenario $2.55, and in the high scenario, $2.83. But these are not the prices you should be buying this company for, because we should always add a margin of safety. I use a 30% one, but you can use whatever margin makes you feel comfortable, but I would really encourage you to use one. The bigger it is, the safer your investment. So with such a margin, we get in the low scenario, $1.52, in the medium $1.79, and in the high one $1.98. And the current price is around $2.53. So the medium and high scenarios without the margin of safety are in the green. Even though the price fell so much, it is not really a cheap company. Not very expensive, but not cheap. So Ambev has some nice things about it, like the dividend, very low debt, and a decent return on invested capital. But we also see some red flags, like the free cash flow that is going down, and the fact that they are diluting long-term investors. I try to be on the conservative side, so unfortunately this company is not for me. But tell me in the comments, what is your view? Maybe I'm missing something that can make this an interesting investment opportunity. If you enjoyed this video, you may want to check out my analysis of Heineken by clicking over here. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.